Hey guys, welcome back for another week in outfits. It's Monday today and it's been a bit of a mixed weather day. It started off really kind of cold and miserable, uh, a little bit drizzly actually. I got a bit wet while I was going for a walk earlier and now the sun has started to come out. So I think we're in for good weather for the rest of the week. I've gone for a very super duper casual outfit. <laughs> I'm not actually wearing any earrings, but I did put some jewelry on today. So I've got on this really pretty ring stack from Linnea, which I actually wore last week. And I really love this combination. I think it is so pretty. I also have on this pendant necklace from Linnea as well, which has a little sun uh, emblem on it. And this chain from Majuri. I did have another ring on, um, on my index finger. However, I was at the park this morning and I was kind of trying to flick something off my finger. And I went like this really forcefully and it completely flew off and I couldn't find it in the bushes anywhere. It was my Everly ring from Anna Louisa. Donna. Uh, let me flip the camera around. And then for my outfit, the top that I'm wearing is just a simple striped cotton tee from Misguided, which I've had for quite a while now. And I've tucked that into the H&M linen trousers. And I'm trying to think, did I wear this exact same outfit last week? Um, I may have. <laughs> if I did, I mean, I do love to repeat an outfit and I know I've worn this combination before. Uh, the greens actually pretty much perfectly match, which is just uh, very much a coincidence, but yeah, these linen round viscous trousers are fantastic and I am just so thrilled to bits with them, especially because they're such good value for money. I even bought them in the sandy color and in the black as well. The shoes that I'm wearing are my Jane Debster Tegan slides and the bag that I have today is my little Linnea Lana bag. So that is a look at my outfit in full today. I'll see you guys tomorrow with my next outfit of the week. Hey guys, so it is Tuesday today and it is such a beautiful day. I actually completely misjudged the weather this morning when I was first getting dressed because I put a cashmere sweater on. Um, I will sh still show you that with the outfit as that was kind of how I intended on wearing it today. Um, and the only place I've really needed to wear it is indoors when the house was still a bit cold from the morning. Um, yeah, anyway, I'm not wearing any jewelry at all, so I'm just gonna flip the camera around. Oh, actually, I was wearing some sunglasses when I went out for a walk earlier. I'll just quickly pop them on. They are my portrait eyewear Metro Murano sunglasses in the black tortoiseshell, which I just I absolutely love these, and I just think that they are a really good shape for my face because I do have quite a I would say I've got more of a narrow, long face. Well, I'm just gonna flip around that camera. All right, so I have gone for neutral tones today. The uh, tank that I'm wearing is just a very simple white cotton cropped tank from And Other Stories. It does have these dropped armholes, so you get a little glimpse of whatever bra you're wearing underneath, which is nice if you're wearing a bra that is, you know, that looks nice. Mine is just, uh, <laughs> It's just a simple cotton one today. Um, yeah, it is a really stiff, thick cotton. Uh, so I like the fact that it's also not see-through or sheer. The skirt is my favorite. It's Valmoran Etoile wrap skirt in the Ecru color. It's sort of got a uh, warm, creamy undertone to it. Bag today is my Linnea crossbody bag again. And then the shoes that I'm wearing are my Everlane 40 hour flats in the nude color, just because I sort of was going for a bit of a monochrome look. So that's kind of how it looks without the sweater on. And then let me pop that on and I'll show you the full outfit. Okay, and then this is with the cashmere sweater. This one is one of the $75 cashmere crews from Nardum. Uh, it's actually one of their old ones. They originally started with a unisex cashmere sweater, so it has very long sleeves, but they've re-released it in both women's and men's versions, which I think is actually better because uh, then it allows you to get the correct fit, or if you actually want an intentionally oversized fit, then you can pick it for yourself as opposed to only having the one option. So yeah, and that's kind of in the sort of almost like a biscuity oatmeal color. So this was kind of the way that I thought I was going to wear my outfit when I got dressed this morning. Anyway, that is it from me today. I will see you tomorrow with my next outfit of the week. 
Morning, so it is Wednesday today and it is a beautiful day. Uh, it's, I think it's gonna be about 25 degrees and I am just in the process of getting ready to go to the aquatic center. I'm meeting up with one of my girlfriends and her daughter there and also one of her other mum friends just to take our butts for a little swim, which would be really nice. Um, the aquatic center we're going to has a really lovely outdoor uh, baby area so yeah that'll be fun now I'm kind of done up actually because I was trying to film a video this morning as our son's napping but the lighting's just a bit all over the show so I'm gonna try again later uh, the earrings that I've got on I'm gonna take these off obviously to go to the pool uh, these are from Missima they're just these really chunky hoops from the Lucy Williams collection I do have a simple chain necklace on this one is from Linya and then I also have on my Ilsa ring as well which I really love and then for my outfit I've gone for an oldie but a goodie and if you've been following for ages you will have probably seen this combo before but I just think it works it is so classic and every year that I wear it I feel great so the shirt I'm wearing is the Madewell Courier shirt which I've had for four and a half years now. Uh, it's 100% cotton, worn really well. I pull it out every single summer and I just adore it. I love these big patch pockets and it's super oversized. Um, my sizing will be in the description box but I'm wearing it in the extra small and I've got that very messily tucked into my Dr. Denim shorts. These I wear in the size eight. I like the fact that they have quite a bit of room around the thigh and again, they're just, you know, not obscenely short bag I've opted for today is my Everlane Studio bag just because as you can see it tucks really nicely underneath the shoulder uh, and this is just on the uh, initial um, what do you call it setting I actually haven't changed the strap length but I just think it's a really good size if you are a mum like me or you just need a casual everyday bag it does fit a laptop in it but you can't snap the closure shut if you put a laptop in there. Um, shoes that I'm wearing today are my Saint Laurent New Pied Slides. I was tossing up between them and my Jane Debsters, which I've got down there, but I just thought that the Saint Laurent slides looked a little bit more interesting. So yeah, there you have it. That is a look at my full outfit of the day. I will see you guys tomorrow. So it is Thursday today and it's another really beautiful day. I think it's around 26 degrees, so it feels a little bit more like summer again. Uh, I do believe we're going to have some thunderstorms later, so it's probably going to be quite a humid day, I think, or at least towards the tail end of the day. Um, I am going to meet up with my mother's group at lunchtime. It's actually one of the girls or one of the mom's birthdays. So that'll be really lovely. We've uh, got a kind of a Vietnamese um, sandwich box picnic. So I'm looking forward to that. No accessories on this morning. Um, let me flip the camera around and show you my outfit. So I've gone extremely monochromatic today wearing black and white. The top is a silk knitted t-shirt from Lily Silk, which you probably will have seen uh, in my video that I shared on Sunday. Uh, I love these. I also have it in the white with the black stripe. They are so comfortable. Um, they're just really nice and lightweight and I actually size up to the medium so that I've got a little bit more room. Um, if you were looking at getting one of these uh, and you want it to be a bit more fitted then stick with the usual size. These shorts are my old Philip Lim shorts which if you've been a long time subscriber of mine you will remember these from before I got pregnant. Um, I really love them. I actually was thinking when I was trying them on earlier it might be nice if they were just a touch longer <laughs> but it's really exciting to be able to wear them again. The bag is one which has elicited a number of questions over on my Instagram. I think because it is such an unusual bag. I like to think of this almost like my little dumpling bag or it's like a cloud. Um, this is from Poland and it's the numero nerf, so the number nine. I really like it and I just think it adds such a nice sculptural element to an outfit. I am planning to do a proper review of this over on my blog. I also have the kibas tote as well so I'll do a review on that one too. Um, I would say probably the only thing to keep in mind if you're looking at this is that the closure, the opening is only so large so you're not going to be able to get really big things in there so you need to be mindful of that. But yeah, it does have a shoulder strap or you can just hold it by the top handle. And then my shoes are again the same as yesterday, my Saint Laurent New Pied slides. So I've kind of gone for darker elements up top and lighter elements on my lower half. 
So yeah, that's it for today's look. I'll see you guys tomorrow with my next outfit of the week. Happy Friday, everyone. Uh, so it's finally the end of the week. Um, today is a super muggy day. The humidity is pretty high because uh, it's just so, sort of supposed to have thunderstorms rolling in. Uh, it's about 27 degrees, so pretty warm. Um, you can tell we are definitely heading towards summer. Our son's down for a nap right now, but when he wakes up, we're going to head to Westfield just as I need to pick up a few things. Uh, last night, I actually went out for dinner with one of my girlfriends, and I thought I'd insert the outfit that I wore just as I thought it was really cute. Uh, I was wearing an MLM label, kind of a warm colored palm print dress, which I mentioned in my wardrobe Q&A video with some seed heritage sandals and my mango bag, which is a great dupe for the Loewe basket bag. If it's still available, I will try and link some alternatives down below. Um, I sort of am finding myself a bit torn between I suppose the style that I want to have and then the style I find I feel most comfortable in so I generally tend to find that I feel a lot more comfortable and a lot more um, I guess put together when I'm wearing slightly more feminine silhouettes um, but as I've kind of said I am sort of trying to find my personal style and I guess my sense of self since having a baby. It is a huge life change um, because you go from everything being all about you to everything being all about your baby. And uh, yeah, I just think from, um, I guess a psychological perspective, you know, you really do have to try and figure out who you are again, which seems odd because, you know, really you would think nothing's changed, but kind of everything has. So. Uh, if you ever wonder why my outfits are a bit higgledy piggledy or whatever, that's kind of why, because I'm sort of trying to figure out who I am with my external self expression through my outfits. Anyway, with all that being said, um, I'm going to talk you through my accessories. Uh, I have on some earrings. These are the Kirsten Huggies from Linnea, which I've had for uh, a couple of years now. Um, and then I also have on a chain bracelet from Missima, which I bought during the Black Friday sales last year. And I did want to quickly mention Black Friday because um, I say this every single year, but I feel like it's such a great opportunity to get a head start on your Christmas gifting. So I will have a Christmas gift guide going live around the time that the sales are up so that you can kind of take advantage of those discounts uh, if you like any of the suggestions that I share. I will be doing separate gift guides for different categories over on my blog. So that's going to be a really good place to go if you want ideas or if you actually just want to learn what all the sales are. And I will share on my community tab as well when those posts go live. Um, I'm going to be doing a small business gift guide, which I think it'll be up by the time this video goes live. So I will link that in the description box below. Small businesses have definitely been some of the hardest hit this year. So um, I know how challenging that can be. And I really wanted to be able to support those. So there's going to be a lot of Australian and New Zealand small businesses in there. But yeah, so I just thought I would quickly mention that. Anyway, I'm going to flip the camera around, show you my final outfit of the week. So I have to say, I feel a lot more kind of myself in this outfit and I think you probably get a sense if you've been following me for a while um, that this is a very um, a typical outfit that I would wear. So I'm actually wearing a one shoulder top from Eula Johnson but I mean I'm nursing so I've got my nursing bra picking up. I don't feel like it's I mean, I personally don't mind that. It almost just looks like it's a little cami strap that is attached to the top. Um, this top is really pretty. I bought it pre-loved from The Real Real a while ago. Uh, yeah, it's navy with this uh, kind of, what would you call it? It's like a leaf print design all over. And then it has a bow on the shoulder and this kind of puffed sleeve. I sized up, um, so I'm wearing the 38 or the US 6. And I think it's a really good fit because it's not too tight. The skirt that I'm wearing is from an Australian brand called Age. I bought this on sale a wee while ago um, and I love it. It's just a simple black denim mini in an A-line silhouette. Very kind of easy to wear for the summer months. The shoes that I have on today are my black Vanelli two-tone pumps. So they have got the patent toe cap which I think is really fun. Um, I get my usual size in these. So that is a look at the outfit today. Feels a bit dressed up, but actually I'm very, very comfortable. And let me just grab my bag. So the bag I've decided to go with today is my Fendi Mamazuka. This is my vintage bag that I bought a couple of years ago. Um, and I still just absolutely love it. Perfect little shoulder bag to fit all of my essentials. So yeah, that is me for the day. I hope that you enjoyed this bonus week in outfits video. I always love filming these. As usual, I want to know what your favorite outfit was. Let me know in the comment section. I think for me this week, it's today's outfit because it is just such a reflection of my personal style 
pre having a baby, I feel like my old self. I feel like me essentially. And uh, yeah, it just has made me feel really good. Um, I also feel very comfortable in what I'm wearing. I love that it's kind of minimal, but there's some fun details to it. Uh, it's simple, but not simple or basic, but not basic, if you know what I mean. I want to thank you guys so much for watching um, and I will see you on Sunday with a new video. See you then. Bye. Yeah.